Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. The new governor of Jordan Peterson, Ben Shapiro, the notorious Zionist, was reported this week to be praying in the Al-Aqsa compound. Now, although it may sound very innocent, like, who cares mate, it don't really matter. But when you realize that even the Israeli forces got an issue with this, and of course because of the encroachment of the Palestinian territory, it's never a good sign when these Israelis pop up, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> it starts off with, hey, hey, we just we just want a place to just chill and just relax. We just we just want to pray. And then before you know it, mate, three quarters of the country's gone. <gasps> so even if you're like, yo, still man, like chill out, relax. What if I told you that this was part of a plot to get rid of Masjid Al-Aqsa and replace it with the third temple? What? Oh, now you're interested, yeah? That's a gen, yeah. <laughs> In a 2013 interview by the Israeli army radio, it revealed that the young women that wanted to avoid the obligatory army duty were given a choice to become part of the Temple Mount movement instead. That sounds well shifty, innit? But it's worse. So they work as unpaid tour guides for the Temple Institute or even schools that advocate for the rebuilding of the temple, the third temple, in the place of Masjid, the mosque of Al-Aqsa, which if you don't know by now is the third holiest site in Islam. In fact, the direction that we pray to, which is the Qibla, the Kaaba in Mecca, before that used to be there mate. So the investigation found two Israeli ministries, i.e. the culture and the educational ministry that had been quietly funding the Temple Institute. It doesn't get more higher up and more official than that. So let's go in a bit deeper. The Ministry of Culture had been funding it since, get this, 2008 and here's what the spokesperson said. The rebuilding of the Holy Temple is a positive commandment which will usher in an unparalleled era of world peace. On the other hand, the Ministry of Education has been funding this group for more than 10 years. Like I said, you've got the sources for deep reading below and this is not as innocent as it looks. Oh yeah, Ben just wants to go there and worship. No, 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 no. This is a concerted effort by the Israeli state to replace Masjid Al-Aqsa and couple this with the general use of propaganda. I mean, there was that guy Bobby Lee <laughs> in an interview he was saying that they offered him a free trip to Israel. Yeah, first class and everything mate. All he had to do was when he got there, social media mate, social media and only talk positive about Israel. The government, Israeli government is flying out like celebrities for free out there. It's not free because when you land there, they go, you have to every day tweet positive things about, about Israel. Israel. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I just felt so uneasy, uh, uneasy about it. So I deliberately kept this video short because I just wanted to get these facts to you guys because it is very important that we wisen up to these propaganda techniques and these cunning schemes and we do not fall prey to them. So we learn ourselves, we share videos like this to others and most importantly we teach our children. So they are also able to continue such causes when we go. Defending Masjid Al-Aqsa is a big deal. Our history and people like Salahuddin Al-Ayubi, yes the legend, he liberated Jerusalem and his active role in the Crusades and taking back Jerusalem is something that is a big deal in our history. Even companions of the Prophet peace be upon him. Retrieving Jerusalem has always been a big thing. And yes, when Masjid Al-Aqsa was stormed, there was an outcry just as it should be. However, we should not just be people who look at the surface and just pluck at the leaves. Let us be people that look at the root of the issue and the problem so we can cut it off from there. Let's not ignore the guy behind the curtain that's calling the shots. Let's not just look at the people that are shouting the loudest. Let's look at the subtleties and let's look at the nuances that are happening as well because it is here that the cunning people are controlling everything from. Let's leave it there guys until next time. 
Assalamu alaikum.